I, I would absolutely, you know, just die to play Jessica again. If there's any an opportunity, ever an opportunity for, for me to put on those boots, I will be there in a flash. I, I love your look in this movie. I love the witchy vibe. What was your favorite aspect about this role? Yeah, so I love that she is so unexpected and has so many colors. She is funny and fabulous and deliciously evil, but then also like really scary and a total psychopath. The hair and the makeup and the costumes uh, were just so fun. And this is just one of those roles that's kind of like role of a lifetime. And I just had the most fun playing this character. Why, why do you say role of a lifetime? Like, was there a... You know, it's rare that you have like these big bad female villains who are also fabulous and also so funny and a little bit of everything and you kind of can't put them in a box like it's really kind of hard to even like what else is there you know um uh, right it's like there's not a lot of roles like that she's evil she's fabulous <laughs> yeah it's, it's not things like this don't come around every day I, I love kind of the lesson in this movie and, and in the book was to embrace what makes you unique. And I was thinking about it. Was there a time in your life or career where that sentiment kind of clicked in for you? Yeah, I think it probably all of us, right? Um, I, I know I was a weird and different kid. And this is the kind of movie that definitely speaks to me. I love the message that the thing that makes you weird and maybe gets you picked on is actually what makes you awesome. Um, and I think that's such a great message. And when I watched the movie, it just like hit me so much. Like, yes, there was like big set pieces and big scares and like larger than life wish, but that at the heart, there's real heart to this movie. Um, yeah, I'm just so proud to be a part of it because of that. This doesn't feel like all of the other sort of things that have come out recently. This like made me feel like the way I felt watching Honey, I Shrunk the Kids at the Big Adventure or Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory when they're on those big, beautiful, like sick sets. It just felt like large like that and, and really, really creative. Last time I interviewed you, we were on set of Jessica Jones in New York. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like you get asked this a lot, but I feel like it's kind of warranted here because Sam Raimi is a producer and he's doing Doctor Strange and the multiverse is kind of cracked open. And I feel like no one else can play Jessica Jones but you. Would you be game if that comes up? I, I would now absolutely, you know, just die to play Jessica again. I had the best time doing it and I just love her so much. I'm so proud of that character. Um, not only because it was like a great role and she's such a badass, but that character has really resonated with people in a way that I don't know like who else has and really, really resonated with women and girls, trauma survivors. Like it's just so, so big, you know, and such a thing I'm so grateful to have been a part of. So if there's any an opportunity, ever an opportunity for, for me to put on those boots, I will be there in a flash. It, it has to happen. I'm like, how do we make it happen? What do you need from me? <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Always lovely to see you. Great talking yeah, to you. You too. Thank you.